What an excellent day for an exorcism. Exorcist. Hey up, Rock God 2004 back with another video for you. Um, I've sat and waited for this all day and it's literally only just arrived about 20 minutes ago. Um, packing looks dodgy. That's it. Um, this is that ultimate sort of... Um, edition of the exorcist with the bfi book and um the bible looking one um i'm gonna have to open it but i'm always very dodgy about these just a box and that's it oh it, it is actually in another box so that's not too bad um yeah that's something at least anyway this is uh, interesting uh, oh that is nice. Just make sure there's no... I can't see any damages. Well, that is beautiful. Look at that. It's... Uh, it, I mean, I don't know if it is real there, that I can't really tell yet. Um, but apparently these are numbered. However, I can't find the number on mine. I'm sure it's somewhere. Um, I'll have a look in a sec anyway. Um, there's the side there, look. Beautiful feeling, like leather feel to it. Now it did say leather, but I can't see it being leather. It's probably just like a, you know, like a fake thing. But look at that, that's gorgeous. Um, there's the contents there on the J card. Um, if the number is underneath that, then I'm buggered because I don't open mine that full. There you go. We'll give this a, a quick open and uh, I'll show you what's inside. Right, so there you go. As you just open that bear, that bear, that bit, sorry. Oh, it's on, it's on the inside, it's all right. Yeah, it's not leather. It's uh, it's just hard card there with like a leather feel coating. It's just, it did say leather, but I mean, it doesn't matter really, to be honest. Um, there's the Bible box, which is really nice. And my number is 785 of 2000. That's a damn shame. That is so close. Number 666 would have been nice, but never mind. Oh, wow, look at that. Nice little purple ribbon there. This is very, uh, very Bible like. Hmm. And all that. Um, there you go. Steel books, the same as the other box set. Um, the the that one. So it's got the original artwork on. Um, and this one doesn't have a little, slight little bit of paint missing, which mine did have on the other one. It wasn't enough to warrant. Um, a replacement to be honest it was just right on the edge as if it's just been missed uh, that's weird the blu-ray was that side and it was upside down which is very very strange uh, blu-ray blu-ray I'm assuming that's three blu-rays is it 
yeah both 4k's are there so you've got the um one two three yeah both cuts of the film on 4k are there the other discs black and then you get both cuts of the film on blu-ray again and you get that bonus disc as well on blu-ray um yeah the artwork's the same on the inside as well where she's rising above the bed so that's exactly the same steelbook still as the last set um again i think it's the same box of goodies you get with the art cards and the booklet and stuff yeah it is it's exactly the same um i know some people think i'm mad for getting both but they are both just so nice um i absolutely do i do absolutely love this film um and i'm probably in the minority um when I say that uh, the transfer on this is absolutely outstanding, a lot of people say it's garbage. Um, a lot of people have complained. I even said on one of my videos that the, the, the transfer is amazing. I don't know what you're all on about. And I got a comment saying the, the transfer is crap. I said, yeah, totally disagree. And I do. You can rant and rave all you want. You're not going to change your mind. Um, it's crystal clear. Colours are beautiful. People say the ending's DNR to death. Well, I never noticed anything. I think people are just looking for stuff. It's like instead of sitting and watching the film and enjoying the film, wow, look how clear it is. It's going, right, let's see what we can mess with here and see what faults we can pick. Ridiculous. Exactly the same poster. With the the one with the colour text, I love that poster. Such a great image. Another one of those. Well, I think it's a bookmark or something. Um, and this is the other extra thing you get. It's the um, it's the BFI book. I'm saying it's BFI because that's what it says state, but I can't see the logo anywhere. But I don't have my glasses on, to be honest. Um, yeah, there she is. When they get the test done on her. Should you get this book in there, you know? I'm lying. This isn't the book. It's the set. This you, you do get this in the other set. The book's there. What an idiot. This isn't the BFI book. Apologies. I'm not. I'm not with it. So yeah, I did show this off in the previous set. Um, I'll just get these back in. That's more like it. Yeah, right. We're an idiot thinking that was it then i thought i'm turning the page i'm thinking this looks familiar yeah no wonder it's in there idiot and um, this is it right oh dear me that's a compartment type of thing so you get that and that like sort of I'm trying to see which way I can do it so you can see better. That lifts up like that and comes out. That's that's a nice touch. I like that. That's the BFI book. There you go. Um, oh, that's a nice image as well. I know it's only the poster, but I just like the quality of the print on it there. Uh, oh, love the smell of new books as well. That used to terrify me as a kid, and I actually thought that was a shot from the film. And just the look of that made me think, I will never, ever watch that film. It turns out it's nothing to do with the <laughs> film. It's just a book thing. Some nice shots. There's a lot to read, so it is actually a film about 
a film about the book, a book about the film. Um, it's not just a, a sort of visual document, if you like. It is. It is. There's a lot of text in it. I really couldn't stand him. Father, can you help a poor old but No, I couldn't. Go away, you molester. I'm uh, just going through a bit, so I'm not going to show you the full thing. There's no nudity in The Exorcist, so it's not like I have to hide anything, is it? Scans of Regan's Napper. Oh dear me. Very, very nice book, that. Um, and this has actually got a barcode on. I think you can actually buy this separate. Um, so yeah, The Exorcist. It's it's written by Mark Kermold as well. Um, it's his favourite film of all time. The greatest sort of film ever made it to him. So it's like, who else would you ask, really? So yes, I'm going to put that back in there. So that lifts. It goes in there, like it's got its own little compartment, and that closes. And there's Regan, the little freak floating. That is, that is so nice. Um, and then the ribbon just ah. Oh. And then the other stuff just sits on stop, on stop. Oh God, I need to go back to bed. I'm not, I'm not right. I tell you. And then that goes in there. That's great, that as well, because um, you get these little stoppers in the top to stop your steel bug from getting damaged as well, which is a great idea. Um, I tell you what, I think Warner Brothers have knocked it out of the park with this. I really do. I think I've got a haunted set. Look, it just keeps opening itself. I think the power of Christ compels it. Uh, so yes, I've got number 785. So close to 666. What a shame. So there's your outer box. And there's your purple Bible. All contents. And that just fits nicely in there. And that is a beautiful set. Um, if you got that one. The only things you're missing are the, the Bible packaging. Um, and the BFI book, really. Same steel book, same little box of goodies, but you just get extra there. If there is a £20 difference, like that one was 50 that one was 70 But you've got to think that the detail that goes into it, um, people say, oh, an extra 20 quid for a box. Then you think, yeah, but there's people making their own home printed slip covers. For 15 quid a pop or more. When you look at it like that. That is not bad at all. Um, I'm just glad it's here. I'm glad it's all in one piece. Um, I've got a pretty relatively no, lo, low number. 700 not out of 3000. Not bad. I think I'd have been absolutely as ecstatic as I can be at the minute. Um, had I got number 666. But. I'm grateful I've got one. It's a great little set. Um, thank you very much for watching, all two of you. I do appreciate it. Um, and until the next video, whenever that will be, y'all take care of yourselves. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta.